Hello art friends, Mrs. Larrabee with another book, Hot Rod Hamster. Today, we're going to be looking at this book. We're going to read it together as we draw. One of the fun things about this book is that at different parts, it asks, which would you choose? And every time that question is asked, we're going to add to our drawing. And in the end, we're going to have designed our own hot rod, just like the hamster in the story. This book is by Cynthia Lord. Lord and the pictures or the illustrator is Derek Anderson. All right, and here's just an example. This was my hot rod that I drew by the end of the book. Let's see, I have a couple more examples here. My sons did one with me while we were drawing and reading the book. Here's a couple other hot rods that we came up with. I'm gonna be drawing several different hot rods on a sheet of paper kind of like this, and showing you different examples. You do not have to draw four. You just need to come up with one at the end. But I'm gonna draw four different examples just to show you some ideas. And you might decide I want this car with these wheels and this spoiler and this color, um, and you can totally mix and match. I'm just gonna be giving you ideas. I just wanna spur your imagination, but you are definitely gonna have your own one-of-a-kind hot rod when we get to the end of our story. So today you'll just need a sheet of plain paper. Um, notebook paper is just fine too. Those lines could come in really handy. Um, even a piece of newsprint would be fine for the newspaper and a marker. I would recommend working in marker. Um, it could be any colored marker that you would like. Um, I always recommend marker instead of pencil for things like this, but it's really up to you. All right, here's our book. Hot Rod Hamster. I'm gonna try to show you pictures while I'm going through to Hot Rod Race, noon today at Four Paws Speedway, sponsored by Rusty Hydrants. Great day, grim day, build a car to win day, cheer day, chase day, gonna have a race day. I need a hot rod. A hot rod for a hamster? You'll need something very small and fast. Old car, new car, shiny painted blue car, rust car, clean car, itty bitty green car. Which would you choose? Here's our first idea. So hot rod hamsters got to choose from one of these shapes cars. I'm gonna push the book out of the way. Go ahead and pick up your pen as well. And let's look at a couple of possibilities of shapes. You can totally make up your own, but I'm gonna, while I'm looking at the illustrations of the book, talk you through a few. So one might be this curve line. This looks like a taxi cab in the picture, and it has a curve on both sides. We're not gonna add tires yet, so we just need a line at the bottom. And then I like to make my windows curve too, since the rest of the car is a curve. Don't forget to add your windows. Okay, or maybe if you don't want to do the taxi cab kind, there's something a little more like a race car. It comes down in the front at an angle, and the windshield goes up, and the back kind of goes down too. Let's see, we'll draw a straight line, and we'll connect these two points. So I made a diagonal line, diagonal line, horizontal line, and another diagonal. And then I just added a box to the bottom. And for this one, I would probably make my windshield kind of pointed as well. Maybe a front window and a back window. All right, let's do two more. This would be more like a truck. So we could start with a rectangle. Maybe you want to watch me draw all of these and then you could pause the video and choose which kind you're going to make. And then a front window like this. kind of an open back truck. And then this little car right here is almost like an oval, but I'm gonna pause right here and I'm gonna make a spot for someone to sit. All right, so pause the video, decide which shape car or make up your own shape that you might wanna use, and then start the video back when you're ready. All right, let's see which one Hot Rod Hamster chooses take the green car. It's just my size. It'll need new tires and wheels. Yes, I want to burn rubber. There's the car Hot Rod chose. Let's 
look at these different wheels that the dog is holding. Smooth wheels, stud wheels, driving through the mud wheels, fat wheels, thin wheels, take her for a spin wheels. Which would you choose? All right, let me pull out. I have an idea of a few different kind of wheels here that I already made. This one, everybody in my family thought it looked like a donut. It does kind of, I was thinking mud tire, but I'm just gonna add one wheel to each of my car just to talk a little bit about them. So this guy's just spiky, so I would draw two circles for my wheels. It's okay that there's a line through them. And then I would add the little points on here. So it has spiky wheels, like little triangles all around the edge. Would grip really well, right? And we would do the other wheel. I'm gonna move on just for time. All right, this car needs two wheels. Let's try something like this. This is kind of like a mud tire. Here's how I did it. I put squares all around the tire. And after I put the squares on, I thought, hmm, it looks a little sparse. So I went back and just added a line in between. Give it a little more tread on the tire. All right, so there's my tire and I would do this one too. All right, let's try these. Very thin wheels, smooth wheels, I think Hot Rod Hamster says in the in the book. So two circles and a smaller circle in the middle. I think I would probably color this in. And then a thin tire that's just smooth around the outside. It would be a lightweight wheel, right? All right, and then let's try these donut wheels, these mud wheels. So I just had big circles and little circles. And then I did a wavy line around the edge just to make it look like there was dirt on the tires. And when I did this, um, when I was doing it with my boys, one of my sons decided that maybe he should make pizza wheels since the other looked like a donut. So you can definitely be creative on here. This is your hot rod that you're building. Okay, so if you need a moment to um, decide which wheels you want for your hot rod, go ahead and pause the video and then meet us back here. All right, let's see what Hot Rod says. I want fat wheels. There's more to squeal. And you'll need an engine that'll purr. Purr. I want it to roar. Coil parts, flat parts, gleaming this and that parts, round parts, straight parts, funny out of date parts. Which would you choose? Oh, look at that jumble of parts. The hamster says, room, room. Okay, so let's take this idea. I'll try to keep this book here too. So for your car, you could add something to it. So, um, you know, maybe on this one, I wanna add this, I really like this engine right here. So I'm gonna just make it into a shape. It's like a square on top. And it comes down like this. I might even put a triangle off the front. And I could color it all in like the engines off the front. Um, maybe on this guy, I just want to add some big bumpers. So if he hits anyone, uh, they'll bounce right off. <laughs> you can be really creative here. Maybe on this one, um, I'll add one of those big exhausts off the top that you see on trucks sometimes. And let's see, oh, this guy looks like he could use a spoiler off the back. So I would go up and I would just add like a really skinny triangle. Helps with the airflow on the car. And I think he might need a big bumper too. All right, go ahead and pause the video and see what part you would add to your hot rod. All right, here we go. Let's see what, what hamster chooses. One gleaming engine, check. Hmm, but something's still missing. Flames. <laughs> Let's see, there they are. Checking them out. Cool flames, hot flames. Give it all you got flames. Short flames, wide flames. Sizzle down the side flames. Which would you choose? Those are some cool looking flames. All right, I have a, kind of this little sample sheet here. And all I did was take the flames from the book. 
and add something a little different, you know, a little smoother to them. So uh, maybe these flames that look like they're going up, these have smooth lines. Here's how I would draw that. I would start at the bottom of my car and I would go up to a point and I would come down and I would make a wavy line up and a wavy line down and a little wavy line and a tall wavy line. And maybe I'd make a little wavy line and go down just a little and then go up even higher. And another small one. And then I think I'll end it right there. There's some flames, it's just wavy lines. Okay, maybe on this guy, I'm gonna try these jagged ones. So this one, instead of being a wavy line, it's gonna be straight lines as it goes up. And then it kind of comes down and follows parallel lines. And then this one was even thicker than the first one. Whoa, I ran out of space. And then maybe you would wanna add a third onto this side. And there's some jagged flames on the side of that one. Let's see. Um, you might just want to add, add racing stripes. So usually they'd be down the hood of the car, but we'll just put them on the side. Could add some racing stripes to the side of yours. Or we could add, these are supposed to be flames on the side. It looks a little funny on here, but here's what it might look like. Instead of doing the flames up and down, I would do the wavy lines, but I would do them side to side. There you go, all right, go ahead. Let's see what you, what kind of flames you're gonna add to your car. Blazing hot flames, please. They're fiery fast. Sounds good. This time I get to choose something, a helmet. Oh, I like how safe they're being. And here is hot rods, or hamsters, hot rod. Look at that. Oh, he added some racing stripes on the back of his spoiler. Now I'm ready to roll. All right, let's see how the race goes for Hot Rod Hamster. Is your car a toy? You're awfully small. You'll get lost in our dust. Stare face, scowl face, frowny grouchy growl face, board face, deer face, nose up in the air face. Which would you choose? Which face would you make if you were getting ready for your race? Grr, I'm built for speed. They made a growl face. Animals, start your engines. Ready, set, go. There's a little hot rod. His friends made a sign for him. Tight, tough race, tight race, can't go left or right race. Oops, race, oh race, don't know where to go race. Beep, beep. Oh, look how big that truck is. Finish. Hot rod hamster coming through. Yay. Crown prize, cup prize, cannot pick it up prize. Silver prize, gold prize, lots of fun to hold prize. Which would you choose? Look at all of these choices that Hot Rod Hamster could choose from for winning the race. So now on the hood of your car, you could also add a trophy. I made a few here just as examples like they had in the book. You can pause it if you'd like to. Let's talk about just one or two of them real quick. I like to put them on the hood of my car. So let's see, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one, this curved one. I'm gonna look at the lines. It almost makes a U shape. I'm gonna have it sitting on the top of my car. So I'm gonna start at the top and make a U. And then it has a round top and a little handle. And then it has the handles on the side and a little base. And I might even put number one on here. Number one, <laughs> maybe you would choose this really big one. I chose that one too on mine. Let's see, where could I fit that one? I'll put it on the back of this car. So if I did this one, I might start up at the top with a circle and then let's do that U shape again and then just make shapes under it. So let the shapes get bigger as they go down 
I just need diagonal lines and then rectangles. There it is. Oh, it might almost fall off the bottom of the car. And you could put number one on it too. Another first place winner. All right, let's see what Hot Rod can choose. Oh, I like this Tierra too. I might choose that one too. Think about just the shapes that you want it to be. You could just put a ribbon. What did Hot Rod choose? <laughs> he chose all of them. Thank you, he said. The end. All right, so when you're all done, it's time to color in your hot rods. Or your hot rod. You have one hot rod, right? Here's some examples of just coloring. I made my flames two colors on some of them. There it is with the trophy. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I love that you got to build your own hot rod as we worked along with the illustrator, Derek Anderson. If you can, um, feel free to share your pictures with me through email or with your homeroom teacher. And I look forward to seeing what your hot rod is.